Welcome to Keynote. Today, we're going to take a look at how to record a presentation and to add a live video feed. Let's use this deck to add the live video feed. So on this deck today, we're looking at page one here and page two, page three, page four, page five, and page six. Generally speaking, when we kick off the introductory page, we don't usually have a video, but we can. But let's leave this slide with no video. Now on the second slide, let's say we want to go ahead and insert a live video feed. What we do is go up here and click on media and then come down to live video. And when we click this, it'll open up the default camera. Now, with the default camera, we've got a couple of options. We can resize it. We can move it. We can come down here to the background options. And we can change that to a color, a gradient, an image if we have an image we'd like to use, or use advanced imaging capabilities. Let's go ahead with no fill for now. Let's go down to the mask and look at what options there are. We'll see that there are different aspect ratios we can show, but the most common ones are square or circle. Let's leave it as a circle. Let's take the background off and let's do a color fill here of let's say white. Now one of the things you'll see is that because there isn't a green screen, there are movements here that are not captured smoothly. So viewers will realize that you're using a background. Let's take that background off again and let's leave this picture here. So for this presentation, let's say on slide two, we wanted to have the camera right up here. Now on slide one, we have no camera. On slide two, there's a camera. And let's copy that camera over to, control for copy, to slide three. But it's overlapping an image, so let's drag that down somewhere else. That's a good place. And then we go to slide four, and we can paste that camera again here. But this time we can move the camera off to the side, out of the way of the uh, image that's overlapping us now. And finally, we have slide five where we can put that camera back where it was. And on slide six, we don't have a camera. So with this presentation, what happens now is once you set this up, you can go up to play and record a slideshow. And that'll record the slideshow with the audio that you use. So for example, let's play this presentation now. On this slide, we might talk about the adventures and Apple Orchards, etc. And then when you click the slide, we can see that we're looking at the slide with the camera. The next slide, continuous dialogue, the image is right there. The next slide is over here, and then it's top again, and then it's gone. Now, that jumping might be somewhat disruptive. So what we could do is we could click on slide two, and because there's a big jump, we could go ahead and select animate, add an effect, and magic move. What that does is it moves the image down just as you see it on the screen. Now we can take slide three and do the same thing. Add a magic move. Select slide four, add an effect, do a magic move. And now if we play this presentation, here's how it will look. Slide one, and then when we go to slide two, we see the camera up there. And then when we click on the slide three, there's a gradual move of that camera and slide four and then slide five returns it to where it was and slide six and we're out of the presentation. We can change the camera. So once we have a camera set up here, we can select that camera and we can look at the format capabilities and look at what that default camera is. Now I've got a an option to add an iPhone camera here. And so if I click that, the view changes. Now if we go to the next slide, we're still on the original camera. 
go back and look at that. Let's select the image and format. And we're at the default camera here. On this slide, we're using the iPhone camera. So that's how you add a live feed to your keynote presentation and then record it as you're playing it. And then you can go ahead and do a file, export to a movie. So the exported movie will play just as you work through the slides and your live video feed will flow through the movie just like you recorded it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.